Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss our work titled Disentangled Neural Relational Inference for Interpretable Motion Prediction. This research was supported by the Honda Research Institute. In our exploration of dynamic agent interactions, we target a fundamental challenge across diverse applications, such as traffic management, sports, and social network analysis. Anticipating and planning for dynamic behaviors of agents in shared spaces requires a deep understanding of the potential interactions. We developed DJVAE model to address these interaction patterns and predict future trajectories with higher accuracy, interpretability, and generalizability. It is a variational autoencoder framework that integrates graph-based representations and time series models to effic efficiently capture spatial temporal relations between interactive agents. This work is devoted to enhancing prediction model interpretability and out-of-distribution generalizability. Before we dive into technical details, let's review graph neural networks and how they work. During each message passing iteration in a GNN, a hidden embedding H corresponding to node U is updated according to information aggregated from U's graph neighborhood. This message passing update can be expressed as displayed here, where update and aggregate are arbitrary differentiable functions, most commonly MLPs. Variational autoencoders, or VAEs for short, are generative models that excel in learning deep representations of data in an unsupervised way. They do so by encoding data in a late, uh, in a, into a latent space and then reconstructing the input from the space. This architecture of a VAE is split into uh, two main components. The encoder, which captures the data's underlying structure and maps it into a latent space, and the decoder, which takes a latent representation and attempts to recreate the original input. This process is not just about compression, it's about understanding the data in a way that enables the model to generate new samples that closely mimic the original data set. This representation um, of our encoder architecture. Our model infers dynamic interaction graphs in a latent space augmented with interval edge features that characterize the interactions. Moreover, we aim to enhance model interpretability and, out of perform and performance in out-of-distribution scenarios by disentangling the latent space of edge features. To encourage interpretable edge feature learning, we introduce two types of disentanglement. First, we have restricted labeling, which matches distributions based on observed samples X and a subset of ground truth features, which we denote here SI. And then we have pair matching, which is an unsupervised approach focusing on pair data, so we have x and x prime, with a subset of common feature values. It can be deemed a weakly supervised approach, as it does not rely on underlying values of SI, but it does correlate with its indices. Although various strategies exist for its implementation, this method typically involves sampling twice from the encoder and then equating a subset of dimensions by averaging their differences. So the NBA dataset features the trajectories of all 10 players and the ball. Each trajectory has 50 time steps and a frequency of 3 hertz, which translates to a prediction horizon of about 3.6 seconds. The right figure uh, shows trajectories generated by each model. Uh, the gray dashed lines represent ground truth trajectories, and the blue and green lines show the predictions for home and visiting teams, respectively. The purple lines represent the basketball. Our approach demonstrates a smaller deviation from the ground truth trajectories compared to DNRI and LSTM. From the table on the left, we note that our method outperforms the strongest baseline, which is in this case DNRI, in all metrics by about 25% when edge features are learned and around 45% when these features are disentangled into temporal and static features, in this case they are being pair matched. We also evaluate the efficacy of our proposed method uh, using the motion capture recordings sourced from the CMU motion capture database. The dataset includes recordings that track movements across 31 distinct joints of a subject's body. In a comparative overview of our method in this table, we notice that it significantly outperforms DNRI on all three metrics with a 44% improvement. And how our method, um, especially with disentanglement, improves out of distribution generalization. These findings are also reflected qualitatively in the figure to the right, where the gray skeleton represents the ground truth and the blue ones are the prediction. 
We notice that our method matches the longer prediction much closer than DNRI and LSTM, especially around the legs and feet. While this entanglement appears to not significantly affect uh, performance quantitatively in this example, it still introduces a new level of expressivity. Um, these are examples of some learned features. You might notice how 1 and 7 are static, i.e. the edges remain the same color or hue over time, um, while features 20 and 31 are dynamic. Overall, uh, the learned dynamic features seem to correlate with uh, relatively distinct relations. So feature 1 showcases the main relation of the upper body to the front leg, which suggests these features might encode a weight shifting when a step is taken. Feature 7 strongly relates all extremities, like hands and feet, and then weakly links more stationary relations. This encoding therefore suggests a variance in distance. So while the distance between the shoulders, for example, remains relatively constant, the distance between feet increases and decreases like a pendulum as each step is taken. The dynamic features, on the other hand, are less distinctively interpretable, but we note that they are kind of complementary. So mostly the dark features in 31 are light in 20. So to summarize, uh, we merge DNA uh, graph neural networks with variational autoencoders for efficient spatial and parallel analysis, which enables um, an enhanced auto distribution generalizability and provides uh, better interpretability via disentanglement. Uh, thank you for your attention. I'm open to answer any questions you might have.